A reenactment of King Chongzhou's tomb parade was held over the weekend in the capital Seoul, and thousands of citizens followed in the footsteps of the 18th century king's historic visit to his father's tomb from Seoul to Hwasang to shed light on the filial piety of the Joseon era leader. Our Kim Mogyan reports. It's the 21st century, but for thousands of Koreans, this weekend was back to the Joseon dynasty. The royal procession of King Chongjo to honor his father was perfectly reenacted for the first time in 222 years. King Chongjo was Joseon's 22nd monarch, and he played a major role in restoring and reforming Korea's central government. This year's event, on the sidelines of the Suwon Hwasong Cultural Festival, reenacted King Chongju's visit to the tomb of his father, Crown Prince Sado, in 1795, a procession which took nearly eight days. The trip was marked as historically significant because King Chongju's procession was the largest one ever seen, and when they arrived in Hwasong, he also hosted a lavish banquet to celebrate the 60th birthday of his mother, Queen Hegyeong Gung Hong. The gesture has since been regarded by Koreans as an outstanding example of filial piety. I came to see this historic event with my family. Because King Chongjo's procession highlights his love for his parents, I hope my children can learn a lot from it and not only think about us but also about their grandparents. What makes this year's event extra special is that it's the first time the parade will go to the 59.2 kilometers from Seoul to Hwasong. Last year, the reenactment ended in Suwon, but this year, we will be able to see King Chongjo visit Yunning, his father's tomb. As the parade reached the Changanmun Gate on its final leg, some 16 teams of participants who tagged along with the procession demonstrated all kinds of performances, including folk games, martial art performances, and even a huge flash mob. Some 4,600 people participated in this year's event, together with nearly 700 horses, which is nearly double the figures last year. The organizers said this time they tried to encourage citizen participation, as they received more than 200 citizen volunteers who wanted to take on major roles in the parade, including those of King Chongju and his mother. We were finally able to fulfill King Chongju's dreams together. We were able to show how active public participation can convey hope and creativity. During the finale, Suwon City Mayor Yam Taeyong thanked all those who made the event possible and pledged all out efforts to develop the event and make it more fruitful in the coming years. Kim Mo Gyan, Arirang News.